We're at week three, and our issue for this week is should the court seek the original meaning of the Constitution? Now, our textbook gets into original intent and the textual approach um, fairly well, so we're going to take a little different tack here in this discussion. We often hear the term judicial activism and, to some extent, judicial restraint. Really, the two ways of meaning or of thinking about constitutional interpretation with activism is the idea that um, there are, our society has changed way too much to be able to rely utterly on what the founders of the of our nation were thinking about because they didn't know about things like cell phones and privacy there and the internet and all that stuff so uh, whereas the restraint judicial restraint people would say no it still applies it can still be used let's not get out there and start creating new laws Really, let's just interpret them in light of what the Constitution says. Current constitutional uh, theory and interpretation really has picked up two different ways of thinking, representative democracy and constitutionalism. Each of those is a philosophy about democracy itself, and therefore they look through those lenses when they're looking at the Constitution and how it should be applied to a situation. In a representative democracy uh, position, from that position, uh, you see that there are six conditions that are required. All of those things go to ensuring that there is an election that uh, anyone can run in, that there are equal, everybody has a vote, and it, it's a really a way of saying that they completely, or that they trust the democratic process. Similar. Uh, similarly to the way that uh, the free marketers believe that you should let the pocketbook of the consumers decide what business survives or not. It's that kind of thinking, but in, instead of um, the free market, it's a de democratic process. So that basically anybody with very minimal restrictions can run for office. There are equal opportunity to inform the public through communication. So all this campaign finance stuff would basically be out the window in the in the full version of that and everybody gets to vote and there are very few restrictions and uh, policymakers have limited terms so it's kind of an interesting way of thinking about uh, what will work and what we should look for in a constitutional interpretation on the other side are the those that believe in constitutionalism which is to say they do not trust the democratic system um, they worry uh, greatly, as did some of our founders, that a majority would become a mob and would rule, for instance, to take away the rights of the minority, uh, in this case, property owners, for example. So the, the mob would get together and say, we're going to take all your money and redistribute it among ourselves and take those of you who made all the money and uh, hang you or something. So they really don't trust the system. They don't trust the process. They think that there are all sorts of flaws in the democratic process. And so what they want to do is really limit institutions as well as the government as a whole. And that's just their, their whole deal is to, to really limit the government and the institutions to, to ensure that, that uh, abuses don't take place. What's interesting is that both of them believe in the intrinsic worth, worth of the individual. So... The, the latter ones we talked about, the, those coming from the constitutionalism camp, um, are trying to uh, limit institutions like the government so that the individual rights will be maintained. On the other side, we have the representative democracy says, they say if we, if we apply the process as it should be done, the abuse won't be there and the process will take care of itself. Now, I, I note that I have the representative democracy on the right and constitutionalism on the left, but really it isn't so much a right-left issue. It's a little different than simply saying conservative versus liberal. So I want to make sure I draw that distinction. There are a whole bunch of theories that we haven't gotten into and we really don't have time, but um, they're all theories. They're all ways of thinking, and there is no one that's right. They're, they're just different ways of thinking. So I guess the question is, which one will you use? We look at, are you more for limited government or do you trust the process? And when you read your text this week, think about those two positions.